All right, so what's the date? It's Tuesday, September 5th. Alrighty, here we go. It is Tuesday, September 5th, and I'd like to welcome everybody back to the podcast. This is the City Slicker Podcast. I'm your host, Brady, and today I have a really special episode for you guys, and um, what we're going to be doing today is, if you'd seen my story or anything, uh, today we're going to be talking about my first deer and the hunt, and I'm, I'm going to get up here in a second, I'm going to kind of show you the deer so you can kind of visualize it but i i got a couple things to say i'd like to say thank you to everybody um before i get started i i've got a lot of thank yous for today um pertaining towards the towards the deer hunt but um everybody's been so supportive and on facebook sharing out my posts and everything and everybody just is really excited to see what I what I do and where I go from here and I'd like to thank everyone for that and it really makes it makes it all worth it because I have I put quite a bit of time into um getting here so I'd like to thank everybody whether it be Facebook or anything just everybody being um supportive so again I got my phone here because I got ADD and I want to make sure I'm staying on track so I went through that So, obviously, if you read the title, you know what we're talking about, but I did just tell you. But, I guess that's pretty much what all I wanted to do to start. I'm going to get the camera switched over towards the deer and get this all set up so then I can show you show you him and kind of uh, go from there um, as to what I wanted to do for uh, today. So, I'm going to get you guys set up over there. Alrighty, now that I got up here, I got the cameras all positioned. Here he is. He's my uh, my first deer. He's a typical eight point. Uh, he's he's a, around a one twenties class. He's got some pretty nice bases. He's really symmetrical, other than the fact that he carried his mass a little better here on the left side. But he he keeps the mass right through all the way up the tines and everything, which which is really cool. But um, something that's my favorite about this deer, obviously other than the fact that it be my first deer and I have all the memory and everything with my dad going out and getting them, but I, I, you don't really see a whole ton of them. He's really gray. Like, I don't, I think it has part of where he like kind of grew up or whatever, or like his home range, but he's really light gray. Like he's got a nice, like super light gray front snout. And then all the way through, he's kind of got a little bit of a lighter skin tone. So he looks really cool. And um, my taxidermist, uh, when we shot him back in, what was it? Oh, I don't, I don't think it was. If it was 2018, then I'm old. But I think it was. I think it was 2018, and it was uh, September 22nd on the youth hunt when I shot this guy. But my... Um, taxidermist said that he estimated him around four and a half to five and a half years old and i definitely agree with him just by looking at him and his features and how like truly how big he was um when we got him out in the when we were dragging him and just like seeing him out in the woods but um he told us he goes this deer is is amazing now but he goes if you could have seen what this deer would have turned into he said his neck if if this deer would have been shot during the rut that he would have been just an absolute his neck would just would have just swelled right up and they were telling me and uh when we had picked him up we thought that there was like a spot like a blemish here but they they uh went through and he had a scar here on it'd be his left side so right here it went all the way up through his giant jaw line and uh it she said it went right it didn't hit nothing important but she she said he was definitely a fighter because there was a nice uh, hole right in his jaw we we never seen it because it had healed over over time but when she had skinned the head out um it was um it was like that so 
if you're wondering who I'm referring to, uh, my taxidermist. So after we shot him, it was like, obviously with the youth hunt, it's hot out. So it was like a race for time. We're like, oh, where should we go? Well, my mom had kn known somebody through um, work and just kind of talking. And we landed on uh, Nature's Pride Taxidermy in uh, Concord, Michigan. So Dan and Emily, I don't know if you've seen any of these or whatever, but I'll plug you. Uh, Dan and Emily over there, they, they're both amazing. Uh, they, they brought me in when I had this guy, there were other deer on the, f there were other guys in there, but Dan took his, uh, took his time to take me around and make me feel special on my, with my harvest. I, I know I, walking through there, it really brings you down to size because like, obviously he's a nice deer, but when you walk through the, uh, taxidermy studio, there's some world-class deer in there, but Dan walked me around and kind of showed me his operation, and I've been hooked with them ever since. They, uh, those guys, they do amazing work. They're, they're very, very great people, and just you go there and you just feel like part of the family. You know, they show you around, and I actually have to go up there sometime soon to get my dad's turkey. We actually took him up there earlier this year. If you tagged into any of the YouTube videos. But yeah, this is him. He's uh, just a 120s class eight point, and he's mine. And I really, I really like him. I think he's unique in his own way. He's kind of like skyscraper. His antlers are going straight up to the sky, you know. And didn't have like no name or nothing like trail cam pics of him before picked out for him. So he just, just my deer, and that's how it is. And we kind of chose the way that he's positioned here looking the way he is kind of based off how it was when we shot him but that's him i'm gonna i hope you guys can remember this kind of like a, a for a visual when i when i get back down here sat down so you can know what what we're working with uh but this is him and this is my my first deer and i'm gonna i'm not i'm not gonna finish this episode yet but i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna go more into depth on our gun setup so i know as hunters it, it's really cool to see the deer but i know some people are just as just as much interested in uh what you were using what was the what was your ammo and all this so i'm gonna go into more depth on that now and uh i'm gonna get my camera gear all switched over back over down here to the table and uh we'll go from there All right, so I just got everything all. Let me get this fixed. All um, switched back over from going up to him and kind of uh, showing him off. And so I'll get back on here on my handy dandy thing. So I know just as interesting to everyone else as the deer itself is well what were you using and whatever so the gun that i was using i have it right here but my dad this this gun is really special because my dad kind of he he shot quite a few deer when i was younger with it and we uh he kind of fed our family with it he he bought it as kind of his one one gun and that was what he used other than he had a old little uh, 12 gauge that he used as well. But here it is. And I'll go into depth our bullet, but it is a Thompson Center Encore. And on top, he's got the Thompson Center scope. And I couldn't even tell you what the magnification. It's like a, I think it's a 3 by 9 but I'm not 100% sure. But here she is in all her glory. I, I truly love this gun just for the sheer fact of how this grip is and it's just a beefy gun but my dad killed his first buck with this as well and it's that's really special to me if you ask me that i killed my my first deer or buck even uh with the same deer my dad killed his but here it is i'm gonna set this down right here next to me but for anybody interested in like ammo and stuff so this is a muzzle loader and 50 cal so what we were using was is we used 150 grains of powder and we weren't using like straight powder that you'd pour down we were using um 
triple seven pellets so three triple seven pellets for 150 grain and then for our bullets i can't take it out of this sabot but it's uh these are just your um oh, dropped it i'll take that up they're a 250 grain uh let's see if i can go like this they're shockwave sabots so they're just these yellow tip 250 grain and i hit that deer and he just it it was nuts so i'll kind of break down how it went so we get in there um and obviously this is our gun but we get in there just like any other hunt early for dark and i remember it was pretty it, it wasn't cold cold but it was cooler that morning and um so we're sitting there and uh the we we had we had sat at this spot many times like years previous so we kind of had an idea well my dad's looking over here and i'm over here on the left side of the blind which or wait no i was on the i was on the wrong side of the blind we ended up having to switch we were in a redneck blind but um we seen him probably 200 yards away and he was with another little buck and a doe and so they they worked their way from the west to the east to us and so this whole time now they're within 100 yards and me and my dad are like my dad's like you need to move over here slowly and he's making sure that i'm getting to get set up for the shot and uh we get finally get me over there and by this time the deer is pretty well close and within shooting range and uh he's walking and he's walking like out of our life and I'm like oh no no well for some reason he's walking put trying getting ready to go across the fence where there's some pine trees about 70 yards away or so he was and uh he some reason he turned around and I and I remember him taking a few steps and my dad goes when he turns broadside because he was kind of angling away um but so like any other kid I take the gun and I pick it up well, I'm going to get out the window, and bam, I hit it on the window. So then immediately looks right up there, and I didn't, I didn't rush or nothing or whatever. I just took my time, but the deer was like, like he obviously, if you've hunted at all, you kind of know how they are. But my dad, my dad goes, as soon as he opens up that shoulder, take it, and I just remember him opening up the pocket and i had it on him and i remember pulling the trigger well with a muzzle loader just like any other gun or well muzzle loaders actually specifically smoke everywhere so you're trying to swim through the smoke to see the deer well we end up picking him up and he's just on a straight beeline like he looks like he don't know where he's going but he's just run, dead running kind of if you've ever seen a deer after you shoot him they just run like they're giving it all they got for what time they have well we were there was kind of like an elevation chain where the hill there was like hills but it rolled down and then it went up into a hill and there's a really big tree well we seen him run by the tree and like he'd go up the hill but he never we never seen him get to the top of it sort of like well he's got to be down that down that way so after i shot it me and my dad were just going crazy because um obviously it's it's father son moment first deer but um we 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 give it time and as soon as after we shot it just seemed like deer pop it out everywhere and obviously you don't want to spook them but it's it was to the point where we needed to get down we waited our time and uh got all sort of calmed down but i got we got down, climbed down, got everything out, but um, we tracked him, and I figure I would um, show you guys. I'll move this over here. Um, I have it. I put it all in a separate file. 
but I have the video. Uh, I'm not going to show all of it, but I'll show it towards the end uh, when we get them. And this is the biggest thing that I was most excited for, for having this TV behind me, is being able to review hunts and throw stuff up there. So I'm going to... It's it's a vertical video, uh, but this is me and my dad recovering it. And uh, don't throw too much hate at me because I, I was a freshman and I'm a little chunky monkey in this. So I'll get this all uh, expanded up and move it. So we tracked blood. We had great blood all the way through and into these tall weeds. We get into the tall weeds, let me see. So we get to this point, and I didn't know it at the time, but at this point, my dad can see the deer, and he's just, he had me tracking, but he can see the deer, and he's just waiting for me to find it. So here we are. At this point, I was getting kind of discouraged. I was like, oh no. And then I finally look over. Okay. All right, let's go see him. Be careful now. Watch. First time I'm wanting to run right up there, let alone the deer could still be alive. Poke him. He's a goner. And then my heart just starts to race, and because I can see. When I was behind him, I remember the sea and his antlers all tangled up in these weeds, but I could see what we were working with. He's bleeding pretty good back there. And I end up, I hit him, I hit him really good. I'll show you that after. He was trying to make it up this trail right here, but didn't really make it there. So that's a pretty special moment. I'm gonna go over to um, some pictures I have after before we gutted them. Uh, but yeah, you can't, you can't beat the memory of shooting your first deer and uh, being with your dad. I feel like everybody's first deer should be with their parent or specifically their dad because it's truly a, something you'll never forget. And I think it's really cool that I can um, come on here and share that with everybody. And then here's the picture. So huge thanks to um, Steve Franks. I know I, get, I shown, showed some love towards the guys over to Nature's Pride, but without Steve, I um, wouldn't have been able to make that happen. As you can see, you can see my big smile but uh we've we were friends with we've been friends with the franks for a really really long time but um through softball uh my sister played travel softball for the longest time with steve's sis uh not sister his daughter izzy and um well steve was kind enough to offer us up this up up his property he he allowed us to go in there on on the youth hunt in many years before because i had hunted i had hunted quite a few hunts with him and i was waiting and waiting and i'm i can't it's been five years now but i can't say how how uh grateful me and my dad and everything how that we are for um his generosity in allowing us so i'd like to say thank you steve if you uh end up watching this but um yeah, the the memories you make in the woods are probably the probably some of the best ones you'll ever make. I I'm a firm firm believer in that. But that's him. Uh I'm trying to think if I need to touch on anything else. I kind of ran ran down the gun, but um that's my that's my deer and uh I'm trying to keep all these episodes um around around 30 minutes or 20 20 to 30 minutes every day and making sure that they're quality but um i've got a few things in the works that i that i want to do for some guests and uh some other stuff but if you're enjoying these comment 
like and subscribe on this um this is if you're watching this is on youtube i'm having some troubles with the whole getting it posted to um spotify and apple Podcasts. but i'm personally i kind of just enjoy just doing it as a video podcast because if you ask me these don't really make sense if you can't see what's going on so let me know down below if you think i should just keep this as just a video podcast or do audio as well if if there's someone on here that's wanting to do audio i'll do it but i was just having some troubles and i felt like if i could save some time and i just post it on youtube that that'd be good too but um thanks for watching today everybody uh share this out i uh i i'd i'd love to uh there's there's a goal i'm trying to hit before um hunting season starts but the with just posting a couple th things yesterday my following here on youtube has uh grown grown a little bit and it's really nice to see those numbers start climbing it not that that's the only reason i'm here but it's really cool to see that people are tuned in but uh this channel is not only going to be um, podcasts. I have some pretty cool um, hunts lined up for this year. And um, I'm going to be doing some other things like shooting my bow, showing you guys my bow setup, and showing you uh, a couple other cool guns and shooting and everything. So that's going to that's gonna be pretty much it for today. I... I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, if there's anything you can critique me on, I'm... I'm all ears because I, I, that's the only way you get better is if you learn from where you're lacking. So let me know how I'm doing, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed uh, this second episode or second podcast. Today's September 5th. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching and take her easy.